Hey everyone, I see we're up to nine viewers, that's good. Uh, we will be on for the Hazelton Army Area scrimmage, starting up in about five minutes. We're happy to be here, happy to be here anywhere. Uh, we don't know where we're gonna be. Even uh, a month ago, two months ago, uh, probably single digit percentage chance of being here, but we are here. And, uh, this is the first scrimmage. This was supposed to be the first uh, game of the season on the 28th of August, but everything got pushed back two weeks, obviously. So home opener is uh, next Friday night against Riverside and uh, Hazelton here tonight uh, for the scrimmage. So uh, I just try to get good video, especially to the parents out there. We know we have uh, attendance restrictions, and hopefully those will be lessened as uh, the weeks go by. Um, concentrating on uh, video tonight, my uh, partner Carl will be along in a little bit. I'll try to point out the Wyoming area kids as as they get into the contest. If you're checking in from Hazleton, I don't even know if they have their uh, jerseys numbered. Looks like they might have practice jerseys. So obviously, unless you recognize your own kid, I won't be able to give you uh, any details there. But. Uh, We'll give you the best we can, uh, best coverage we can. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, they can see your uh, student athlete out there. Uh, some young guys are getting their first uh, taste of varsity uh, action tonight. That's exciting, and we want to bring that to you. So we'll be here for the duration. Looks like we'll be starting up in a couple minutes. Wyoming will be on defense first. Defense huddling. See Adam Sigmund out there, Jacob Williams, number 17, Usama Alansari, number 14. Snap, they'll give over to the left side. Maybe a couple yards. Alessandro oh, Menino looked like he was in on that tackle. Like I said, I'm going to concentrate on the video by myself here tonight. Just try to give you the best video picture. A pass on the left side. Maybe eight yards. Play there by the Warriors, Osama Alexari. Looks like he was in on the tackle. The short out pattern, not much gain there for Hazelton. Come on, come on. 
in there, number 21. Mostly on the run for Hazelton, a couple passes. Get back number three. Three receivers set here. Number 90 on the second uh, name for that player. Yeah. Defense still first series for Hazelton. Hey, we're not good. Hey, bring it. 
Sorry on the care on the kitchen. Hey, 
Jacob Williams pass intended for number three, Rocco Pizzano. So I'm by myself here, I'm just trying to uh, mostly get the uh, video that we can. So when Carl comes, I give you some commentary. He'll have a roster and uh, try to keep you up on to date on people coming in and out of uh, the scrimmage. But uh, we'll just try to get the best uh, video we can. Like that was a freshman Aaron Cross. The Hill Wheeler, number five this year. He's 5'10, 195 as a freshman. Gonna play uh, running back and middle linebacker. That Jacob Williams just did a Ronnie Bass on the uh, uh, defensive line. Uh, 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 Second, uh, Jacob on up on top of it. Warriors still on offense. That was the freshman Aaron Cross League, and it looks like he's had some nice carries here in this uh, first series for the Warriors. Hey, if you're just joining us, this is the Wyoming area Hazleton scrimmage. Uh, both teams have had one set of downs offensively. Neither team was able to score. The Wyoming area moved the ball with Darren Crossley pretty well there. Uh, one pass down. Usama, I'm sorry. Like I said, tonight we're just trying to give you a good uh, video account of the scrimmage. Uh, look on a little more dedicated audio for the openers and next week for video uh, for, uh, for Riverside. And we'll have uh, at least a two-man crew here uh, by myself tonight. So just looking to give you the best uh, video representation. Here, give me some. Hey, uh, no, I 
Break in the action will remind you that we are partnered with Geisinger Medical Systems this year. Partnership with Geisinger and they'll be one of our sponsors each game. So, uh, one stop shop for all Geisinger information. Any information you might need is www.geisinger.org. Geisinger, a partner with the Miami area football in 2020. This will be the second offensive series for Hazleton. They started on offense, traded a set of uh, play sets with the Warriors. This will be their second time on offense. We are gain there for Hazelton. about that turn the camera off. That was third and two. And the Warriors were able to hold Hazelton. So we're playing down in distance with this uh, second series of downs for each team. Uh, Hazelton will attempt to punt. Here, 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 here. Oh, you gotta get in front of him in case he 
Well, I'm here with their second series of uh, plays in the scrimmage. Looks like Jacob Williams will be at quarterback again, and we'll play down in distance now, so have to get the 10 yards to advance. Trouble with the snap there, Wyoming will have a 39 in this series of games. Three now for the Warriors. Sorry, it looks like he is the punter this year. Hazel don't have some nice field position for their third series of downs. We'll start at just inside midfield. Yard carry there for Hazelton at the 35 yard line. Hey, 
Five of the Warriors took a time out there and make sure they had the right personnel on the, in the uh, field. Hey everyone, it's me. So I get closer to the mic, I'm by myself. So I'm doing most of the video. Uh, we're working on a uh, two-man team for next week in a dedicated uh, video. God, you're here. Hey, quick, how are you? I'll do can. This is uh, the roster. Rosters, yeah. Hazel things like in just practice jerseys. So just get our guys. But uh, we're, I don't really have much audio other than just the keyboard. So just stay close as you can to it and give it a give it a good. Uh, you want me to announce them first? Yeah, whatever okay. you see. I'll I'll, do, I'll get the camera. Okay. You get whatever you see. Would you like to do any announcements? No, no, that's it. So uh, your speakers are here. So okay. I just want to make sure we have good uh, video for this game. That's Drew Maruk. Tackle behind the line there. So they traded a series of uh, down, uh, downs plays, and then now they're uh, down in distance. They okay, have down. to get 10 yards to advance. To advance, okay. Yep. So that was a loss there. Look about four or five yards okay. on the tackle by Drew Maruk. So it'll be okay. second and 14. Yeah, no microphone, you just got to talk yeah, right into the bearings, laptop. Sir, Take your time. I know you were doing tennis, I saw a little <laughs> bit of that. Yeah, it was kind of hard to, uh, uh, I'll leave that at that. So there's a penalty, and uh, they'll move them back to the 35-yard okay, line. They got to get to the 18, so it'll be second and 17. Okay, so here we go, Hazelton comes out underneath. Shotgun formation. Room Ruck. Yep. Room Ruck on the tackle. 
Incomplete pass, so uh, incomplete. Third and seventeen. Second in line. That was first down. So they have to get to the thirteen. So like second and twenty-two. <laughs> Beautiful night, huh? It's beautiful. It's a perfect night for football. We'll take uh, ten more like these. If yes. We, we get to play ten games. Yeah. Beautiful Labor Day weekend. Okay, Hazel comes out under shotgun formation. Quarterback goes long, and he overthrows his man. Well covered though by number seventeen, Jacob Williams. Jacob Williams. Jacob had him stride for stride. He, uh, if they had the. Uh, Underrated player of the year last year might have been Jacob Williams <laughs> might have been on defense. Jacob Williams, you know, that's right. And I know he missed a couple games, but uh, when he was in there, and, he and was a force to be reckoned Frank, with. Frank, we all we all remember that uh, that one game, three interceptions. Three interceptions against the Mockwood to send him the Hershey. Mockwood, that's right. So third and twenty-two. Okay, so Hazelton comes out under again, a shotgun formation. Oh. Number 15, Blaze So Catch Minnick with the pressure. Broke, broke free, got through. Beat two guys to get to the quarterback. You know, maybe they could use the Blaze off that edge this year as you know he's he's 6'3. Yeah. He's every bit of 6'3. That's right. Get in those uh, passing lanes and uh, that's a good spot for Blaze and we'll hope to see uh, some good success from him out of, out of that spot. That's right, Frank. Reminiscent of uh, years past. Okay, so uh, so pump, but they'll just fair catch it, and then we'll have another series of downs. Hazelton, as Frank said, Hazelton will punt, fair catch, and then the Warriors will take over from there. First and ten on their own twenty. No scoring yet. So how did the uh, tennis team do? They uh. They lost, Frank. They lost 3-2. Uh, 3-2. Two, uh, three, two. Three, two. Three, two. And that was against Pittston? Against Pittston, yeah. They, they, they had an overabundance of girls. We have uh, five girls. Three have never played before. Well, not bad, considering. Not bad at all. So it's Labor Day weekend, and we're, here we are again. We're football at the Jake. I'm here with, um, Frank was here. Frank invited me. Uh, I'm Carl Zelinski for Verbally Intoxicated, Frank, for uh, Wyoming Area Everything, and uh, we're glad you're joining us. So well, uh, Maybe uh, a month or two back, we would have put the <laughs> percentage chance of being here, uh, probably like around Dominic DeLuca's number, number That's nine, right, yeah. maybe 9%. <laughs> yeah, if this shuts up, just, just hit that button. Right. Yep. Okay. But hey, we are, so uh, we're, 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 going, we're going week by week. We're trying to make the best of it and uh, give you the best coverage that we can, as always. So before Wyoming is going to come up, and we're going to have Jacob Williams under center. Oh, and that's number five. That's Aaron Crosley. Found a little running room, got five yards. He's already had some nice carries. Yeah. Big kid for a freshman. There he is. I kind of know him a little bit, yeah. a little bit more than some others, yeah. Frank, being my nephew. Yep. Oh, and we have even more Ruiz in the chair right. now. Five-yard so, carry there. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got a, he's got a fan. Uh, Big fan base. Yeah. Fan base outside the fence there. Okay, that, this time here, Hazelton's waiting for him. The nucleus of the line held him up, fought through, and stopped him for no gain. So it'll be third and five. Third and four. Hey, who's 44? I don't know. I don't know. He's a big kid. Yeah. 
that's I just got them off max preps okay, today. All right. Bacon, Williams drops back. He's got to find his man. He's got number 44. He's out in the flat. First down. Maybe Coach Pop knows. See Pop. 44? Jaden Russell. Jaden Russell. Oh, wow. Jaden Russell. Wow. Fullback this year, year Jaden Russell. Okay. The pain train. I already gave him a nickname. <laughs> I'm going to call him the pain train. train. There you go. That's a good nickname for him. So there you go. Frank's the first. The pain train, number 44, Jaden Russell, paving the way. He works for uh, American Asphalt, always <laughs> paving the way. Okay, Jacob Williams under center, hands off to the first man through. Fresh set of downs, so that's about five or six. Yeah. Look like, uh, was that Drew Maruk? Number four. That might have been Rafa. Rich Heisinski. Richie Heisinski. Rich Heisinski on the carry. He'll pick up five or six. Rich had some nice uh, carries last year in a uh, limited role. Yes. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's Labor Day weekend, and here we are at the Jake. Oh, there he goes again. Rich Heisinski plowing his way through. The big guys up front really uh, really plowed some holes yeah. wide open. Nick Yelko, we see we had some comments on Nick, number 69. 69. Junior, three-year starter. Yeah, and Nicky's a big boy out there. They're going to rely on that size for a long time. And number 70. Uh, number Maybe 90. Gilpin. <laughs> Ryan Gilman and uh, Mikey Clark. Ryan Gilman and Michael Mike, Clark. Mikey Clark. That's a familiar name. Mikey Clark. Uh oh, Jake's back to pass again. Screen pass. Room Ruck on the on the uh, receive. And he may have got a half yard out of that. Colby okay, Gashai. Colby Gashai being called in. Another tough warrior, senior yeah. year for Colby. What do we got? Second and about nine? Second and nine, yeah. Second and nine and a half. So that would be Drew Ruck through the hole. Drew found an opening, and he's got a first down and more. Tough running by Drew Ruck. And, uh, Pat the big guys on the butt on the way back. Who's 56? Alessandro uh, Menino. Alessandro. One of our favorites. Boy, I'll tell you what, Alessandro's got a, uh, he's got a nice role this year. We'll be saying that name a lot, I think, Frank. You know I like to say that name. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right, I'll save that name for you, Frank. Okay, Gashai, Gashai, fullback. Drew Ruck gets the ball. Oh, he's tripped up. Fumble. I think they're calling him down. Coach Fonte yelling, uh, why did he switch? He switched the ball in the hole. Got it knocked out. Oop, that's it. A break. Yeah, so... Frank, how long do you think they, they're going to give him a break for? So I'll run down. Like five you want to run down through the names? Yeah. You can do that. Um, oh, you can do it. Oh, I didn't do it. You can do that. Let me just get into the things. How glad are you doing? Hey, well, we got a break in the action. Uh, just to let you know, uh, a couple things going on. That's us. Hey, hey here, here we, we are. Go, go. Your favorite broadcast, your favorite Wyoming area broadcast team. I don't think there are too many others, so <laughs> we'll put ourselves in an exclusive All class right, here. So. Hey, one thing that uh, Lou Champy and uh, the great team at Independent Graphics is doing is they have a fans in the stands option this year. Take your photo, send it in. 
they'll put a nice uh, cardboard cut out like you've been seeing in the baseball sta stadiums. And uh, you can be in the stands for every game. We hope things uh, ease up and we hope you're here physically, but this is a nice way uh, to help the alumni raise uh, funds. That's right. And uh, it'll be on Independent Graphics website, independentgraphics.com. You can get all the details there. All the proceeds go to benefit the program and the players. So we appreciate you very much. Uh, please take some time and go out there and uh, you know, maybe a loved one they have uh, that, that's far away or a favorite player that uh, uh, from the past, uh, maybe uh, nephew or niece or son even or daughter, right? There's uh, that's an female awesome alumni. Idea. And, uh, an awesome you, can, idea. you can put them in the stands. Okay. So not here's, uh, go ahead. Not only in the stands, Frank, but you can put that silhouette in your front yard. Oh, yeah. Yep. Put it in your front yard to show your uh, to show your uh, true identity to the Warrior Nation. Exactly. So hey, this is uh, the Wyoming area uh, org, www.wyomingareafootball.org. You see at the bottom there, uh, Nick Perugini has run this site for years. He's also the originator of these broadcasts. We wouldn't be here without Nick. We love Nick. Thank you, Nick. Uh, yeah, it was Nick's idea, and we're just trying to carry it on as best we can. The coach. So, Nick, for all things Warriors, uh, www.wyomingareafootball.org. Okay? And it looks like we're going to get back on the field. This is what we want. This is what we want to get to. This is a scene from uh, uh, Southern Columbia game last year. And this is what we're looking to get back to as soon as possible. That's but right. Right now, we're here. All right, Frank. Well said. And I like the mask. My football mask, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, we got... Jake Williams under center. And he's looking to pass. Oh, Jake's going to take off. He's got his little giddy up in him. Jake with about a five, six yard gain. He's got some strength behind him. Like Kusama on sorry getting a lot of uh, playing time early on mm. and that's good to see he did nice in a limited role last year and they're gonna need to find some receivers that's obviously right. that's right Frank. And it looks like he's made some nice blocks early in this contest that's the way to that's the way to buy your way on the field Frank the hard work behind the scenes Jake will hand off to uh, that's number five Crosley yeah or it could, could, have been, it could have been 25 gash high. I think it was Aaron. He could be the uh, Nick Elko of 2018 for 2020. That's right. Remember, Nick was that big fullback yeah, right. back in 2018, and Aaron Crossley could fit that role yeah, uh, for he, the Warriors and get that tough yardage inside this year as a freshman. That's right. Fourth and one, they're going to go for it. So here we go. Jake will bring him, under, bring him up to the line. Oh, and it's a sneak. Jake gets the first down and more. I believe he got it, Frank. So I think they said uh, 44 is Rich Izinski. Rich Izinski. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> okay, so they're going to... Number 70, Ryan Gilpin with a nice block there. Yeah, Ryan Gilpin. That's a name we'll be saying a lot this year too, Frank. Going to measure? Oh, they said he's short. So the Warriors are still on the ball. <laughs> Warriors maintain uh, 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 possession here. It's like Crossley and Maruk again. Yes, it's uh, Aaron Crosley and Drew Mruck are your bats. It's a pitch to Mruck. He finds a hole. 
He's still pumping. He picked up another two, three yards there, Frank, just by driving those legs. He looks a year stronger. Drew. Yeah. He was a strong runner last year, but uh, definitely looks like he hit the weights. He's a hard hitter too, Frank. Okay, uh, Colby Gashai enters back in. Aaron Crosley will come out. You like those uh, runners who deliver uh, punishment. That's right. As they come through that uh, line of scrimmage, because that wears teams down over the that's course right, of the game. That's right, four quarters of that and you're done. Oh, a little jump there. Jake Williams got his man. Oh. Uh, Usama. Yeah. He was the man. He had his man beat, but he was overthrown. I cut underneath him. <clears throat> That's another wrestler right there, Frank. Is he? Yeah. Usama oh, sorry. He, he wrestled for a year, maybe a two. Maybe he wrestled uh, longer. I haven't seen uh, Leo Harris. I don't know if he's no, injured Leo, or not. Yeah, Leo. Wrestler, I think John Morgan. John Morgan is a wrestler, right? Oh, okay. Spraying MCL. Thing. Okay, so Jacob, bring him under center. He's going to have Colby Gashai and Drew Ruck behind him. And it's Drew Ruck. He finds a big hole. And he has a first down, Frank. And he no, may he, have lost he had the already, ball. Yeah, he had already he hit the down. ground. Okay. He had already hit the ground. So take a look at take a look at who led him in through that hole, Frank. Fifty six. Alessandro Manino. Yeah. Nick Elko. Bryce Hinkle always. Bryce yeah, Hinkle. He's always there. Bryce Hinkle's like uh, he he took that name Dirt and he and he went with yeah. it, Frank. That's all a part of the field. He's everywhere. Let me just get a plug in for guys, man. Our sponsor. Okay, once again, we got a break in the action, and we'll just let you know that uh, we are partnered with Geisinger Medical Organization Medical Systems this year, and uh, you'll be hearing us uh, refer to them throughout each broadcast and the uh, number of offerings they have, how, how big a part of people's lives they are, especially in this day, time and day and age, and uh, get all your uh, medical information, uh, the one-stop shop from their website, www.geisinger.org. We are going to be doing some... Uh, Advertising this year, uh, we already have some people in, like uh, Michael Valenti's Restaurant, Lindo Sabatini, uh, Sweet Tree Shop, uh, Kevin Fuglese, you know him, he's, he's got the new car. He just bought the uh, car wash on Lincoln Ave in Exeter. So we have some uh, uh, chiropractics from Dr. Jim McDermott, and we want to do that as a, as a courtesy to our warrior uh, businesses. So we're, we'll, we'll be collecting them. We'll be writing up 30 second spots, That's right. 60 second spots, John Nelson Realty. And uh, we won't, we won't uh, bury the uh, broadcast with that, but we do want to reward our, our uh, people that have been good to us over the years and we'll get the word out as they resume business. That's right. That's right, Frank. First and 10. Okay, so. Uh, Jake Williams bring him to the line. He's going to have Kobe Gashai and Drew Muruk. And it's going to be Muruk again. And he's starting sled, to get yeah. the respect of that Hazelton yeah. area defense. They're starting to fill gaps in uh, eight men uh, eight, eight men in uh, box. So No, he, it wasn't a lot there, but he got a couple yards. And over the course of the game, that's so important to, to prevent uh, a loss of yardage or no gain. And it puts you in much better situations. So, you know, on, on the stat sheet, it looks like a two-yard game, but what? Tough, tough two tough yards. Two yards, yeah. They're, they're the tough ones that you don't you don't read about. Okay, so that's going to be uh, I believe Rocco Pisano, or is that Gary Pizzi? Three is Rocco. And Jake is rolling out. He has time. Oh, and he hit his man. He had his man there. Just can't no number on that, that number. jersey. Yeah. That's just a green jersey. <clears throat> He looks kind of like a, uh, he's got the body type. Uh, oh, it was, it was Colby Gashai. Colby Gashai. Okay. So be I was just going to say the body type of a Colby Gashai. Yeah. Marking off a penalty. 
Oh, that's Nasir Condry. Nasir Condry, a rock, a rock for this offensive line for a couple years now. Yes. Now gets his chance to be a senior and you have more of a spotlight on him. And yeah, he's playing the role, Frank. That's for sure. You look at you look at that uh, right side of the line, Frank. You got Elko Condry. What a setup that is. And there, they run right behind him. Oh, and there it is. It's going to be. Uh, was he down? They're going to call him down. Yeah, it looked like he was reaching for. He was reaching over the line, end zone. Laying on his belly, reaching. Knee down, reaching. We've seen that one too many times. Okay, number. I don't have a number, Frank. C pop, number down. Mikey Clark, Mikey Clark playing so that fullback position in Michael that Clark. heavy uh, full house backfield. There's another wrestler, Frank. Yeah. Michael Clark, I heard that name uh, two years ago. One of the ex-players told me to watch out for this kid. So. Oh, look at this power eye. And it's Drew Muck over the line. Touchdown. First touchdown. Power eye. So first touchdown of the scrimmage. And it belongs to sophomore 21, Drew Muck. Looks like Sidney Krushka on there for the extra point there. Yeah. Okay, let's see what Sydney has here. Sydney's a uh, senior. That's Rocco Pisano holding. Sydney puts it through. Good. So until we get the fans, we're gonna. We're gonna we'll be, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. We'll do our best to make sure that. Uh, we give our loyalty to one the area. Looks like there's some legislation that uh, passed the House now. I think it goes to the Pennsylvania State Senate. We're going to at least try to get the parents here uh, for uh, early games. And maybe that will even be passed by next week. We'll hope. But hope like you said, as, as uh, each week goes on, hopefully we get better and better and climb out of this. Yeah, that's uh, for, all, for all intent and purposes, Frank. I want to mention a couple other sponsors we'll have with us here. Uh, Frank and Lisa Charge Yurk, you know the Yurk family? Yes. The Yurk family is Wyoming area football. Yes. And they've run the Cleaning Express for many years. They'll be with us. Uh, Tracy Lee Roche and uh, the sports, the sports page. page. They just moved across the uh, river there to William Street. And I think Coach Spencer gets his haircut. Yeah, so, uh, hey. So they'll be with us. I got my haircut. Yeah, there. we'll be there with us. And uh, so we got a few. We still got room for more. We'll be, uh, we'll be running those ads periodically uh, throughout the contest, pre-game and post -game. So thanks, thanks, thanks to them. You know, we want to keep it local, spend it here. Help your friends and neighbors get back to their best in doing what they love uh, best. You know it. The more money we can spend locally, uh, the better off we'll be. That's right. The, better, the quicker we'll all come out of this. So thanks in advance uh, for your support of all the great businesses that have supported Wyoming area football and athletics over the years. Thank you. Green looks good on gold, that's all I can tell you. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Nice kickoff there by uh, Mr. Russell. When he's kicking the ball, he's missing. Yeah. When he's, when I, don't, he's I don't know if they kept stats nationally, but I'll, I'll be... <laughs> Percentage of tackles <laughs> that a kickoff kicker makes on special teams in high school, but if Jane Russell wasn't the top, top, I don't top know who five, was. he had to be like five. ninety percent of the time. That's make right. Tackles. That big hit he made in the championship game set it off. They probably had to pull him aside tonight and say, "Hey, we we're not doing that tonight, <laughs> big guy." Yeah, right. You can't bring it the, easy. Can't bring the pain train. It's only a scrimmage. You gotta you gotta wait, let that wait for next week. <laughs> 
Oh. We're already having fun. It's great to talk yeah. about him. Yeah, he, well, he's, he is a loves the game. He's got fire in the belly. Okay, so the Warriors come out on defense. Oh, Hazleton got up the middle. They found a gap there, right over center. Close to a first down. Okay, some of the D linemen out there, AJ Merlino. I could see, uh, I see. Um, yeah, he just had some bad luck injury wise, so it's good to see him out there. Oh! Okay, big hole there. Uh, First down. <clears throat> Look like a nice trap there. Drop the uh, drop the end in there. Tackle right inside. Matt Clark, number fifty-four. Oh, there you go. Little swarm tackle, Drew Maruk. There's Chaisinski, Nasir Condry. Nasir Condry, first man in there. He slowed him down, and then it was just Warriors forever. Hey, man in motion. Pass. Oh, good defense. Defended well. I think we had a hold out there. There's Bryce Hinkle, Nick Elko coming on. Number 15, Blaze Sopatch Minnick. Um, hard to see those numbers, yeah. Frank. They're, some of them are fading. Claire. Trying to mention Malls. Third and uh, 16. No, third and call it 13 now. I see Adam Sigmund out there. I see uh, Rocco Pizzano playing the uh, corner. Pass. Okay, Rocco. We're in a host of other uh, one area tackles. Nice open field tackle by Rocco there. And down. Do get a first down, it looks like. Matt Clark entering back in the game, number 54. Number 51, Bryce Hinkle. I don't think he's come off the field. Using him as that nose tackle. Yeah, he's uh, he's got double duty, Frank, in the yeah. middle. Law and order. That's, what it, that's his new nickname, yeah. Law and Order in the middle. SVU. Oh, and the Warriors come on a uh, run blitz, and they got their man. Bryce Sinkle in there. Who's 54, Menino? Menino, Matt oh, Clark Menino. is 54. Matt Clark, okay. 56 is uh, Alessandro. Matt Clark has stuck his nose in there a few times. Yeah, he was, Matt Clark's been, uh, he's got, he definitely got some scars on that helmet. Room up working hard from his linebacker position. 
uh, Nasir Condry. Jaden Russell in their uh, outside linebacker. Time out, time out, Hazelton. There you go, Frank. So, breaking the action. Uh, We'll be here next uh, Friday night uh, against Riverside. Uh, we're waiting to see how many more approved to do the contest. We always like to have our full team here, but that may not be possible. The most important thing is, is getting the parents here. We'll be looking for some some good news on that front maybe in the next week or two. So actually we start the season uh, Riverside, then Williamsport comes here on the 18th and Holy Redeemer. So three games at home, and hopefully by that second or third game, we can start to see at least some parents here uh, in the stands. The band and the cheerleaders will be here for each home game. So they've already been made part of the uh, 250 allowance. And we were counted as uh, part of the media. The media gets 25. So depending on what the uh, requests are each week, we'll, we'll, so somebody will always be here. Even somebody if it's, will be here. Even if it's just one person to give you a video, we'll do that and, uh, until we get back to, to where we want to be. And then we got other sports going on. Golf's already yeah, underway, tennis, cross country. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to get in with golf, Frank. I'm waiting there. Tennis, I was at today. Uh, soccer, Craig is covering. Craig and some soccer, other yeah. gentlemen. Craig, is gonna Craig cover and Eric that. Fairchild. Right. So, uh, field hockey, I think they have uh, and, some students. Yeah, so one way or another, we'll be there. Frank, I think you got the camera on us. Okay. We'll see that. We'll always be, the game will always be seen. Okay. We have okay. We're going to learn everything. We're all going to learn everything. Okay, good. we got to multitask this year. That's right. Okay, so, so Coach, Coach Fonte says uh, second group warm up, so we'll start to see some uh, new, uh, new names and numbers in there. All right, and we'll make sure we're on top of it. Okay, man in motion. We're man to man. Okay, Warriors stuffed that up. Uh, yeah, they're doing a nice job on the line of scrimmage really tonight. Uh, Nicky Elko getting up off the bottom of the pile. Bryce Hinkle, Matt Clark. First and ten. All right, so Hazelton comes out in a shotgun formation. They're looking to pass. Oh, big hands, number 15, almost knocked it down. That was Blaze. I almost said, uh, I almost said. Derek Ambrosino Derek or Caleb Ambrosino, Graham, right? Even though he was number 11, I just got so used to saying that name. That's going to be a nice spot for Blaze this year. Yeah, I think Blaze is going to uh, prosper then. Okay, so Hazelton starting to move the ball on the Warrior D line here. Warriors uh, switching it up a little bit here. Hey, Drew Muck had to come up from his linebacker position to make that tackle. I love all the coaching going on. That's right. Oh, that's no. that's the beauty of it, man. Just listening. From both sides, from the yeah. sidelines, and, and telling their keys, their reads. You know, you, you think you have it in your head, you get excited. And it's easy to forget. That's right. 
they know to they know to play inside outside, so they know each responsibility well. Okay, he's passing. Oh, knocked down by guess who, Frank? Number 44, Jaden Russell. Jaden Russell. He got his big hands up there and knocked it out. Uh, Hazelton quarterback caught the ball again, but nowhere to go. I think I missed it. I was going downfield. I thought it looked nowhere like it left go. his hand. So Jaden Russell with a big, big uh, knockdown. Like a third and 16 now after they were moving the ball pretty well. Yeah, Hazelton uh, really want to try that pass, Frank, but I don't know. I, just, I don't think the Warriors are ready to give that up. So Nicky Elko, he'll uh, he'll line up in the middle, Matt. Uh, that's going to be uh, Alessandro on the, on the left side. Oh, oh, it's a fumble! And the Warriors pick it up. Alessandro. Oh, Sarma. Marco Bazzano caused the fumble. Marco, what a big hit. He got a little coaching there, Frank, in that timeout. Yeah. And it changed things up for him. Frank, guess what? That's another wrestler. Oh, yeah? Rocco Pisano, he's a wrestler. So that hand-eye coordination, hand fighting on the mats. Balance. Balance if, if is you so give, on the field. You give me a football team and you tell me 25% of the kids are wrestlers, that's going to be a good football that's team. That's right, that's right. Fourth down now. Okay, so uh, we got a five, uh, four receiver set. Warriors set the tone, man in motion. Okay, so, oh, he's going deep. Oh, and Jacob Williams, the thief in the night, almost came up with an interception. Turnover on downs. Jake had a beat on it, Frank. He read his eyes and he, he closed on it in the last second. Will be Gashai out there. Looks like we made Rocco Bazano. I don't know if it's the pads, Frank, but uh, Jake Williams got some running legs yeah. there. His legs got thicker. He's a horse. Horse to bring down. Yeah. Young guys start getting loose. I'm telling you. Playing at 54 seconds. Jacob will be fine. He just has to play his game. He's yeah. a very good football yes, player. He is. You know? Yes, he is. He's a he's smart not, football player. Fan. He's not replacing anybody. He's just nope. being himself. That's right. That's all they need him to do. You know. I'm glad you said that. He, he knows. He knows who graduated last that's year. That's right. He loved them as much as anybody. Yeah. But this is his time, and this it's is his, his turn. time. That's right. That's right. You're exactly right. Jake is smart enough to know that. He's a stone cold football player. <laughs> I, I never saw that kid be intimidated by anything in, in all the years we've been watching Nothing. him. Just has confidence. That's right. Confidence to burn. Frank, we've been calling that name for three oh, years yeah. now. Yep. For three years we've been saying So uh, really exciting to see him get his, his shot at the helm this year and uh, looking forward to see what he could do with this offense. I'll be willing to bet we're more excited than he is, Frank. I think he looks around, he sees some real good talent. I mean, yeah. Drew Maruk obviously yeah. uh, did very well in limited role this year. Last year, could have done even more if they needed him. Right. Uh, but we had some good backs, including his brother. And right. uh, But uh, just a lot, uh, a lot of good running talent, a lot of good line this year. Going to make a lot of yards on the ground. That's right. That's what it's all about. Frank, as the season goes on, more and more people are going to get on the pain train. The pain train. Three receivers set. Single setback. Oh, he's going deep, Frank. He's got his man. Usama. Oh, he got it in stride. Usama, I'm sorry, with the... Adam Sigmund. Adam Sigmund. Wow, that was beautiful. I think I got most of it. <laughs> that was beautiful. It had, to, it had to be 45 yards in the air. Good job, Adam Sigmund. Nice job. Frank, that's another wrestler. Yeah. Oh, there he goes, Drew Rock. Look at him. Tripped up at the last second there. Happens so often, somebody makes a big play and that just energizes the whole squad. And then, and then you're on a roll from How about that, that? Big plays are big at the high school level because of what they mean to a team and the energy that it gives them for the rest of that drive and sometimes the rest of the game. That's right. Okay, they're marching this one back, Frank. Must have been a uh, 
Block in the back. Maybe either a hold inside. Timeout Warriors. Frank, maybe a chance to catch up on some of our uh, sponsors? Uh, I think we went through them all, but they... Uh, okay. Just making sure if, we did. If you've got a local business and you want a 30 to 60 second spot uh, during the season, just message us on the Wyoming Area Football Alumni page. We'll write something up for you. Like I said, we're not going to flood the ad, uh, air with ads, but we'll put them out there time and time. We've always avoided doing that in the past. We've never had to, to do that. Um, and you know, we have friends in competing oh, industries, right. and so we never want to show preference of one over, over the other. Uh, but you know, this time coming through this, all warrior businesses are important, That's and we right. want to see them all succeed. And we know how difficult this has been for them. And we're just asking our, our fans and our alumni, as they've done so often, just you know, think back to all the times they've helped us with every program. Anytime anybody needs anything That's from, right. from any of our sports organizations, these are they the first people hands. they go to, and, and you know they, they have a history of writing out big checks, and we just want to help them in some way. So there's no cost. We'll run a 30, 60-second ad for you. Awesome. And uh, maybe we'll have a little fun with it, too. That's right. That's right. So if you don't mind, as Frank said, we will have some fun with yep. it. And so, remember, green looks good on gold. There we go. That's going to be your catch, your uh, catchphrase. That's Mine, our catchphrase. Mine's going to be keep it local, spend it local. That's right. Okay, so uh, Warriors, Jake Williams will bring him up. He's got Gashai, and he's got Muck in the backfield. And he, he wants to go deep again. Oh, he had his man there, Rocco. Was that Rocco Pisano down there? I think so, yeah. Rocco looked like Rocco he got Rocco Pisano open. doing a dance in the end zone, waiting for the ball. Nice thing about Jake, similar to that guy that played last year. We love it now. But yeah. he's strong enough to stay in the pocket. That's right. You know, he's not going to go down from that first little bit of contact in and then he's going to extend the play uh, because of that strength, because of that leg strength. So we'll be looking for, for that during the season. And you can extend the play it's half a second, That's three right. quarters of a second, and that gives, obviously gives that receiver, those receivers more time to get open. That's going to be huge this year when you have a big, strong quarterback like that. Right. Frank, he's one of those guys, he, does, he feels the pressure and he ignores it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of somebody that he reminds me of, like a big, strong uh, quarterback. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, It'll but, come uh, to us. Yeah. I, think I, I think I remember one Frank that he had his size, and he played here, Mr. Murphy. Well, Chris Murphy, yeah. Chris Murphy, yep, he had similar, that same yep. body style. Right. Chris was a strong kid, top to bottom, good yeah. core strength. Yeah, good comparison. Played during the Julian Campani era. That's right. Nick O'Brien. Nick O'Brien. Remember him well. Okay, so uh, Jake Williams will bring him up to the ball. He's going to have Kobe Gashai to his to his left. He's in pistol formation, and it's a blitz, and Jake's going to be off and running. Oh, he hit his man. He's got Sigmund again. It's going to be it's going to be uh, third down and four. hurry up offense. Hey, he spikes it, here we go, we get a shot. I already got that uh, fourth quarter uh, offense working. Oh, that's beautiful. First field goal! First field goal! Jaden Russin. Here he comes. Field goal! Mr. Russin. 32 yarder. <laughs> this is uh, this is what he lives for, Frank. He loves the hit, but he loves the kick. Beard. Is that what they call him? Beard? Coach? <laughs> beard. Beard? Beard. They like, all like his red beard. <laughs> oh, he's good, Frank. He's good. He was good from 42. That could be a weapon this year. That's right. The beard with three. <laughs> hey, where's my two set of corners I said I need? Hey, you're 
Well, here, like we said before, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, it's Labor Day weekend, and here we are back at the Jake. I'm Paul Zelinski. I'm joined by Frank D'Angelo. As always, Frank's the mainstay, and we're the players. So uh, I hope you enjoy what you're seeing here tonight and for some time to come. So let's go, Warriors. So our good friend David the Cosmo, you know, he's a pro. Yeah, so we yeah, look, yeah. we look for his. But he said, yeah, "What's the score?" Wyoming well, I mean, has been uh, the only team to score a touchdown. They scored on a uh, maybe a one-yard run by Drew Maruck. So uh, if there is a score, it's uh, seven nothing or ten nothing. Ten now. nothing. Wyoming well, I mean, area with the field goal on a Jaden Russell thirty-two-yard field goal. Okay, this is, uh, I think this is going to be the new way of introductions, Frank, and uh, of shaking hands. It'll just be a wave. So uh, COVID has its own, yeah. its own details. So yeah. there it is. It's the wave. That's it. Good job. Hey, thanks for joining us uh, from Hazleton. Good luck uh, during your year. We'll be following you guys. We're all Northeastern PA football. That's right. And we saw, especially last year, as uh, we progressed through the state playoffs, the amount of support that we got from neighboring communities. That's was, right. People were being Warrior fans, and uh, that was a good lesson to us, and we're, we're going to repeat that. Yeah, we, we could share uh, that. Yep. We could share that. And if you notice, Frank, today when I was in Pittston area, I gave your coach the same amount of time I gave our good. coach because I remembered what yep. I remembered the love that we received. Oh, yeah. All right, so our plan is we'll be here, uh, hopefully a two-man team. Maybe even, well, I'd love to have a three- or four-man team. We'll take, uh, we'll take what they can give us and uh, look for some information during the week. I'd love to at least see the parents down there next week. Uh, we open up with Riverside. They got a real nice quarterback, a record-setting quarterback, uh, Johnny Gilchrist. Coach Mike Laffey is a graduate of Riverside, so he's going to have some fun with that contest uh, next week. And uh, we'll be here uh, next Friday night, September 11th. Uh, for the 2020 season opener. Hey, we're going day by day, week by week. We're happy, we're happy just to get this in. Like we said, you know, when Carl first started, if you uh, asked me to give a percentage guess of, of would we be here two months ago, a month ago, mm. it'll be in the low single digits. That's you know? right. But here we are, so that's good news. And uh, hopefully everybody does what they're supposed to do. And I like what I see from all the programs as far as uh, what they're doing to take care of the health of their players and their coaches. And just hopefully that can start to build some momentum and uh, we can get back to the things that we like to do best. So, hey, thanks for joining us. So we'll be wrapping it up. We'll give you a little bit on field look for the next couple of minutes, but then we'll wrap it up. And then uh, we'll be look to be back here next week. Like I said, we didn't go uh, much on audio. Actually, the only audio we have is from the uh, laptop tonight. We might go something uh, a little better next week, but that's always tricky too. Most important thing is that we give the video. We'll be giving frequent uh, looks at the scoreboard next week. Uh, so we just want to give you the best visual look uh, this year. And anything else that we can do from an audio standpoint is just going to be a bonus. So thanks for joining us. Make plans to be here uh, next uh, Friday night. Wyoming Area Football Alumni on Facebook Live. Carl, there you go. You. So, hey, everything looks better. Green looks good on gold. So remember that. Look at this, Hazleton area. Boy, they got a runner there. See, I, I thought they were done. Now I think that's just, uh, now they're going to have uh, the junior, second team. Okay, yeah. good. The second team comes out here, so uh, we'll try to get, while we're still here, we'll try to get some. Uh, See number 19 out there, number 43, I think that's. Uh, Vin Vicenjo Nova. Vicenjo Nova, yeah. is uh, Keegan Russin. 47. 47 is uh, Jarrell Chepelonis. Okay. Oh, and it's an outside. And the Warriors are in the... Okay. Number one came up from his spot. I think that's... by Garrett Pacese. That's another wrestler. Uh, I see uh, number 53 out there, A.J. Merlino. Number 64, Vincent Bowers, number two, another wrestler. Number 53, did you say that? 53, A.J. Merlino. Okay. 64, Vincent Bowers. Number, number, 12. number 12. Number 12, we see, uh, I have no name for number 12. Oh, that's uh, 
That's Evan Milberger. Evan Milberger, all right, how about that? I know his dad is watching. Evan Milberger, number 12. Oh, a nice stuff there. Number 16, Nico Siandra. Yeah, good to see Evan out Nico. there. Great, great athlete, yeah. Nico Siandra. Yeah, Nico, basketball player. Now, like I said, number 43, Keegan Russell, number 62. That is um, Matt Pileshi. Matt Pileshi, I know Matt. Matt Pileshi. Now in his junior year, Matt. Yeah. Oh, nice pursuit. Okay, number 12 there. Uh, Evan Nelberger with the Yeah, tackle. good tackle, Evan. Evan Nelberger. Evan, he took on the bigger man. Yeah, good job. He, he was listening, Frank, in practice when they said, hit him low. He was listening. He looked like one of your guys, Cliff Harris. <laughs> yeah. From the 70s. Uh, Vinny Bowers checking out. Uh, I'm liking that nose guard down there, Frank. Number uh, 43, Ke or middle linebacker, Keegan Russell. That's uh, Jaden's brother. I'm not sure which one that is. But. Frank, you have any idea what he's, he's got huddling? It's probably one of them, but. Okay, so I see number 57 out there, Frank. Owen we had, Kelly. We had an interception. I think it might have been yeah. him. Checking in number 74, Cameron Barber. Sorry about that. We got somebody up, up here asking yeah, us questions. We, uh, and, yeah, we missed that guy. Sorry. Uh, I think I got most of it. And I think it was Evan. Hopefully the fans know who got it. Yeah. Somebody give us a shout out at that interception there. I'd like to know it was Evan Melberger. Oh, number Frank, Jarrell Shepalonis came from the right side and chased him down before he crossed the line of scrimmage on the left side. He got such a jump on that. Good ball player, good special teams player. Wow. I'm sure we'll see more and more of him he on the defense quick. this year. He is quick. There he is again, Frank. He's stretching it out. That was a nice play there. Real ship alone, yeah. Yeah, number 16. That was uh, Nico Siandra, Jarrell Shepalonis. He strung that right out. He wouldn't let, he wouldn't give up a spot. Fought off a block and still made Holding that line, moving down that line in pursuit. Right. Maybe one yard gain. Coach Spencer still, he's firing. Hazleton at the Wyoming area, 27 now. Okay, so the big boys up front here, Frank. Number 74, Cameron Barber. Oh, it's a pitch, or a handoff inside. 47. Jarrell. Jarrell's starting, hey, Frank, he's starting to take over this defense. Yeah, it was Evan on the interception. Was it good? So there you go, we, uh, we got uh, a confirmation. Evan Melberger with an interception in his first year. Number 12. Thank you, Mickey. Sixty-three. I have no name, Frank. He's a big young man. Yeah, he is a big boy. Sitting right next to him is another big one, number 74, and then 72. Oh, offside. Tyler Brzezowski. Little jump, yeah, Tyler. Oh, he's got some a, nice I size. like that name. Tyler Brzezowski and Cameron Barber. Oh, good 
good hands. Right, that was Nico Siandra. Daniel Angus in there too, 46. Yes. Daniel Angus, yes. Good eyes, Frank, good eyes. Uh, number 40 checking in. That's Matt Ragantese. There's another football name, Ragantese. Hey, outside. Oh, holding there, Frank, so that's going to come back. I don't have a name for him, Frank, but number 94 had him pegged. He was being held. Yeah, we'll talk to the boss this week. We'll, we'll get a full roster. We'll find out some names, right. So, folks, you have to remember, whether it's me with Frank or if it's Craig or Jim, you're still going to get the same uh, loyalty and coverage. So stay tuned each and every week. Could have any of the two or the four of us. We're ready. We're on call. On call. I see uh, Van Aken Russell. Or yeah. is that Russell Van Aken? No, it's Van Aken Russell. Van Aken and then we Russell. do have a Van Aken. Oh, is that a nice name? We do have a Van Aken on the roster. Yeah. Too. Reminds me of a guy I used to watch when I was a kid, Mark Van Egan. Yeah. Colgate. Oakland Raiders. Oh, oh who nice got a big mitt there? 94. 94. I got to find out where's, that name. Where's Coach Frank? Pop? Yeah. we we'll find out. <clears throat> He's on the sidelines with Jake. Kids down there, I thought. Oh yeah, right. I got the kids. Oh, there's the uh, Vincenzo. Vincenzo. V. Who's number 94? Justin Francis. Justin Francis. Justin Francis. Oh, okay, Justin okay Frank. Sophomore. I'm sorry. Sophomore I'm sorry. tight end. Big athlete. Oh, he looks good. Yeah, big athlete. Justin Francis looks good. Okay, that's a reverse here. And there's another hold. Yeah, they had number seven held. He was going to squash that play. He's a young player too, Frank. A lot of good young talent on this yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. Must have had a nice freshman team last year. Now some good energy out of this green and gold group. Yes. Right up the middle, Frank. Oh, I'll tell you what, Frank, we have good friends. Kathy Spies has given us a, uh, a roster. Oh, great. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Hazelton inside the 20 now. Okay, we'll have to print that out, Kathy. Thank you, dear. One of those hardcore football models. Oh, yeah. Overthrown. Good coverage by the Warriors. Number two, number number two is in the oh, area. Number there. two, that's Johnny Morgan. John Morgan. Nice, Johnny Good. Morgan. Another Good basketball, coverage. another basketball another player. Another basketball yeah. player. That's right. Good pass coverage skills. These kids are uh, Frank. These kids are definitely uh, becoming multi uh, multi athletes or multi. You, you, you know, we you always know what I'm trying to say. We always try to notice everybody. Even more important this year. You got moms and dads at home. That's right. I put myself in their same situation with my heart in my throat. Hey, we're gonna do the best we can to give you the best coverage that we can until you can be back here with us. That's right. We'll make sure that we're loyal to each and every kid. We, we do not... Love uh, them all equally, yeah. Right, we, we call it as we see it. Oh, here we go. We're passing again. Warriors on good D. Oh, good knockdown there. And I think that was Johnny Morgan. 
Yep. Again. That was Johnny Morgan yeah. again. Good pass coverage. Johnny Morgan with tight coverage. He was behind the he was excellent. behind the uh, receiver Frank. It still made excellent. The play. Yeah, excellent. I know he played. I think he played some Panthers football, but yeah. uh, he's out in his junior year. He's doing a great job in this scrimmage. Offense now. Okay, here comes the Warriors. Let's see. Who we bring 57, out 62 on the line. 64. Okay, so, uh, Frank's calling him out. We're going to have Owen Kelly. 58. Clark. Um, Ethan Spieth. Ethan is Spieth. Oh, out. Ethan, okay. You got to look All at right. Ethan here. Got I Evan. Thought, I thought Ethan was up on the uh, varsity mm -hmm. squad. Got Evan out there. Evan Norberger's coming uh, out here. Number 10. Um, number 10 is Nick George. Justin Francis, I see. Justin we just Francis, mentioned 94. Yes. So we'll see what they could do. 62, Matt Pileschi. If we don't call your son's name, it's because I couldn't see the jersey. <laughs> I got my glasses on. We'll see. Yeah, some of them are hard. Frank, who we got under center there? Johnny Number Morgan. Two. Johnny Morgan playing. Uh, oh, and how about that? Nico Sandro with the carry. That's he a, ran hard, Frank. He was running hard. John Morgan at quarterback. Nico Sandro with a great carry. Wow, how about that? Fif two basketball fifteen players, yards. Tandem. Yeah, fifteen yeah. yards there. Good tandem. Big shout out to that offensive line, creating space and giving time. So Johnny Morgan, big shout out to Johnny Morgan's dad. I'm sure his dad is uh, all smiles ear to ear. Hey, Keegan Russin, he's a fullback. Pitch to Chandra. Nico, Nico's still fighting. Okay, he's able to find himself at the bottom of a big pile. Oh, tougher that time. And that happens, Frank, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I see Garrett Pachese checking in. Pachese, I think it is. Pachese, yeah. We'll get, hey, by the end of the season, we'll be pronouncing them I better than, know, than their parents. I should know that name, yeah. Frank. He's a wrestler. He's a good wrestler, too. So who's on the ball? Who's the center? We'll see when they come out. I like Coach Ken's intensity <laughs> that taking the players out and putting them in a spot that ethan like speaks, 68 so. ethan is that ethan yeah that's ethan that's ethan under center gain of a couple okay Mickey George checking in. Coach Masinski, Frank, what a what a uh, big part of this offense he is, huh? No better offensive uh, coordinator, coordinator than in, yeah, the, right? in the conference. You get a guy that has some uh, Uses NFL his talent. experience. Yeah. Uses his talent very well. That's right. Okay, Ethan, he's, uh, Johnny will be in a uh, pistol formation. Oh, he gets it out quick. He's, oh, Nico was wide open. Just a little sideline route. Trying to get some speed on the edge. So, Frank, while we're talking about wrestlers, Ethan Spies, he's another wrestler. Yeah. He's the heavyweight. He's been at it for quite a long time. Yeah, he's, uh, his time is coming, Frank. Kathy, if you're listening, I'm in his corner every, every match. I'm in the same corner you are. Oh, Nico through the hole, what a move! Nico, what a nice, uh, oh! Frank, did you see him uh, Yeah, a little, little skip there, yeah. Wow, very nice. You can't teach that stuff. Nifty footwork, yeah.
Okay, I see uh, Owen Kelly out there. He's another big boy. Yeah. Warriors are going to be solid at uh, offensive line, defensive line for some what, years. Um, what year is Owen? A junior? I believe Owen is a junior. Okay. Okay, so Johnny Morgan brings him up. He'll have Nico and number seven. Come on, Paul. <laughs> okay, what do we have on yours? We don't have a seven. Maybe it's not seven. He was the ball carrier. Sometimes they use the old ears to try to listen to see if they say my name. Warriors at their own 45 yard line. Here we go. Okay. So Coach Fonte and they're changing up that uh, offensive line. Trying to find the right mix. Johnny Morgan, quarterback keeper. He's around the end. Oh, he just couldn't get out there, Frank. Bounces right back up. Ah, uh, number 99, Eric Triscotti. Triscotti. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's see. Triscotti. 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 Yeah. Triscotti. Okay, I'm sorry, Eric. It might be. Uh, Apologize to you and your might family. Might be an Italian surname. Okay, whistle. Daniel Angus was uh, coming from that fullback position, Frank. He had a good jump. <clears throat> now, Owen Kelly, he's a big kid, Frank. 62. Yeah. Matt Pileschi. Old big boys. They got some growing to do yet. Well, they're 11th and 12th graders. State champions. State champions. That's right. Yeah, Matt will work his way in there. Sure I see him is. as a nose guard. Yeah. I think that's where they like to use him. Looks like he'd be a real nice guard for this team. Oh, Johnny rolling out. Oh, he got his man. Oh, it's intercepted, Frank. It was intended target, uh, Justin, Justin Francis. Francis. Yeah, just, uh, just off his fingertips. Yep. I gotta tell you, Frank, I saw something there when I saw yeah. Johnny rolling out. Oh, yeah. Johnny looked like a natural rolling out with that ball in yeah. his hand. No fear. Yeah, he did. That's all they need, a little playing time to get more comfortable. That wasn't a bad throw. It just made a little, oh, just, uh, little, you know, a little high. It's the kind of throw, if you give him a chance to make it ten times, he'll make That's it right eight times. That's right. right. He was throwing uh, just needs, uh, not against the grain, but he was throwing off, off you know. You can see he's a good athlete, just needs yeah. reps. Just needs reps. Okay, so uh, in that center now, Frank, is number 50. That is uh, Van Ocken Russell. Ethan will take his spot to the left. Ethan's falling away. He had a blocker out in front, Frank, as you said. Uh, the interior collapsed before he can get out there. Oh my God. 
A lot of guys getting a lot of work tonight. That's yeah, good. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Doesn't matter how good it looks yeah. or how bad. You can only it's, do so much in practice and against right. each other. Repetition. You got, uh, you got to see a stranger across the line of scrimmage for you once in a while to, to bring out the best. That's right. Frank, number six, Cooper Price checking in. Cooper Price, huh? I like Cooper that name. Cooper Price, a running back, 5'9", 155. He's a junior. So Cooper, Cooper's going to take the RB position. Yeah, he looks good there. And he got the step. He's still pumping, Frank. Well, got, Gary always got that good stable yeah. of running backs, and they yeah. push each other. And, uh, yeah. you know, and that's what Coach always emphasizes, hey, just one play away from uh, more playing time. Right. We always have that, that bunch of good running backs that right. push each other and want, want playing time. And if you want to be the bell cow, you got to bring it every time. Yeah, you know, you know what's what's coming with that. You want you want the string tied around your neck. Yeah, you know exactly what you got to do. And they got some good talent to run behind. That's right. Again, this we've had we've had a nice size offensive line for yeah, a, few for a now, few years now. Yeah. Years now, yes. Oh, nice give up the middle to Daniel Angus. I think he, uh, I don't see any markers over there, Frank, so. Yeah, he's a young man I think they're high on. Uh, we want to work him in a little more last year, but uh, I think he might have had some injuries, but I think we'll see and hear more of him as the season progresses. Yeah. He's listed as a tight end, Frank. 5'8", 185, he's a senior. Good looking tight end. All right, we got to thank, uh, once again, got to thank Kathy Spies for yep, thank you. forwarding our roster. Now we have an intelligent um, way of uh, identifying our players. We'll get, we'll get some printed out. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll have them uh, ready for thank Friday you, night. Kathy, again. Hey, very nice there. That's that Cooper Price. Cooper Price. Yeah, it looks like he has a nice, nice size. Yeah, what would we have him listed as? 5'9", 155. Yeah. He looks like a tailback. He, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's sleek. Mm -hmm. he's That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. About him. He's got some sleekness about him. I like that. Sort of, you know, I'm not going to say that he looks like Nick O'Brien, Frank, but he moves a little bit yeah. like him. You got to earn that comparison. That's right. Yeah, you don't, you don't just, uh, that doesn't come easy. Let's talk after about 50 touchdowns, maybe. <laughs> Johnny Morgan. Oh, off the helmet. Light ball. Number 28. I don't know the name for number 28, so... Uh, on your sheet, Frank? No. Okay, so that might be a fill-in jersey. Somebody's going incognito. Yeah, this time of year. Coach, I forgot my jersey. You're wearing this one. <laughs> yeah. Put this one on. Yeah. They won't know who yeah. you are. So that's something that the, the kids will laugh about a little bit. Yeah, they, they got a kick. Tap <laughs> off your helmet, yeah. They got a kick out of it. It wasn't the butt tap, it was the helmet. <laughs> They won't, they won't get a kick out of it next week. Yeah, that's happen. right. Yeah. It'll be fun for one week, and that's it. Maybe one day. For those that are uh, away from home, we'll show them that beautiful Wyoming area sky. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's beautiful. That's our hometown. That's where we that's live. Right. And we, uh, we got a new face on the, uh, on the weight room, too, Frank. Okay, so we got number 94 in there. Justin Francis, whenever you see him in the game, it usually spells trouble. Johnny Morgan, he's gonna roll out, he's gonna throw across the grain, he's got his man. Oh, he's got number one there, Garrett McKenzie. Nice play, nice looking play. Very nice play. Garrett crouched down, you couldn't see him. Popped up when the ball was there. 
turn and Johnny rolled to his left that yeah, time. Yeah, Johnny throwing across his uh, body. Yeah. I like, I like it. that. I gotta yeah. like that from this kid. I do. The little, hard part, Frank, is little, he's a junior. Uh, I wish he was only a yeah, sophomore. He'll find a spot. A little gunslinger mentality. That's right, yeah. I like it. I like that, yeah, definitely. Now, who had the catch on that, do we say? That was Garrett Pacasey. Oh, good. Okay, so uh, I see a new number up there up front, Frank. I'm going to try to make sure that we call him out. As soon as my phone cooperates, that's uh, Matt Pelleschi. We said his name okay, before. Yeah. Okay, Johnny Morgan with a keeper. Calls his own number. Warriors starting to move the ball here, Frank. Yeah, line's getting off that ball nice and quick. Yeah, they're starting to pop. You're in those pad, pad level. Get that pad level. That's right. Stay at pad level. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet is important. Frank, one number we didn't call tonight, that's Jaleen De Jesus. Jaleen De number Jesus, 68. yeah. Another big athlete. Okay, that might be it, Frank. That could be it, yeah. We got full the first time. Right? Yeah. No, uh, but so, that's about two hours in, so that's yeah. probably it. And I see the refs walking out. Yeah, the it was field, 750, so. yeah. So that's going to be it. Hey, good hey, luck good the rest luck of the year, year yep. buddy. So that's going to be it. War Warrior Nation. Yeah, that, that was entertaining, Frank. Yeah. I really enjoyed myself tonight. Thanks for inviting me. Like I said, I don't know if we've seen each other since that last right, we had uh, basketball. Uh, basketball was the last time we had, we, we had that basketball banquet. Right. That was nice. And then the world fell apart uh, a couple right. days after. You know? I've so, been communicating uh, with you through your son. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Garrity's uh, check. Because I see so, the Garrity, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I go to Garrity's to say hello to Frank. Yeah. So, uh, hey, I don't have all the answers. But I, if, if they're going to be on the field, we're going to be here. You That's know? right. I... Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think a lot of people are looking forward to it, just as as uh, something to get back to, to what we're used to, just to give us some, some kind of outlet. And I think the kids need it. Uh, I think they. I, I saw that a lot of them enjoyed it tonight. Look, I said a lot of kids got their first uh, real uh, taste of varsity oh, yeah, level that was experience. Very beautiful. That's going to pay huge dividends. Uh, so we're going week to week, and uh, hey, the kids have been out there for about a month. Sounds like they're doing what they need to do. I know the coaches are. I saw the protocols that we had uh, just to get in here. And, uh, you know, everybody has uh, the right intentions uh, to keep this as safe as possible and keep it going week to week. And so we're hoping for some good news out of the legislature next week where we can see the parents. And I'd love to look down and at least see, see all the parents of, right. uh, that, want, that want to be here. Uh, that'll help me make me feel a little better, make us all feel a little better. And then we'll go from there. We'll take small wins, and you know, tonight was a small win. Getting back on the getting back on the field with a team after a state championship. It's a young team. We saw a lot of players out there for the first mm -hmm. time. They need that playing time. So uh, tonight was a win, a win for the program and a win for the area. And we're glad to be a part of it. And I know you are too. Yeah, what do you, what do you got? Me too. Yeah, I, Frank, you said it all. All I got to say is, uh, I, I hope that everyone can sooner or later we're going to get here. I mean, all the sports. Let's make sure that. Because, uh, you know, I watched the parents up at the uh, tennis tonight, Frank. They were, everybody was afraid to do anything. Yeah. Because, but I want to get back to the point where you can go up there and you can give your kid a hug or, yeah. or give give your favorite player right. a hug. Right, the things we took for granted. Yeah, yeah. And right. Hopefully we'll never take right. them for granted again. But, uh, you know, we'll be here if you see us in the store and we're mispronouncing your kid's name. It's not, not on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Well, we want to do, we want to do the right yeah. thing, say the right things. If you can't be here, we want to at least be your eyes and ears here. And that's our purpose. That's our intent here. That's right. Uh, to give you, uh, you know, at least some way to, to, right. to see to see your uh, student athlete out there. So, that's right. uh, any recommendations you have for us? Like I said, we didn't really go anything with audio this week. It's always a little tricky. I hate to have the interference. The most important thing is that we show you the visuals. We'll work on some things for next week. Always trying to get better. But thanks for joining us. Thanks for always supporting us. And uh, we'll be here next Friday night. You that's close right. it out. And remember. Green always looks beautiful on gold. Yeah, very good, and I'll say I'll I'll just keep it local, spend it local. Uh, let's think of our uh, our our, fa our friends and family, our business owners, and uh, you know it hasn't been an easy easy road to go since That's the middle right. of March, and you know, we, let's do what we can uh, to show them uh, our appreciation even That's more, right. even more to uh, get them past this rough patch and uh, get Warrior Nation back right. to doing the things they love to do. So hey, thanks for joining us. 
Have a great Labor Day weekend uh, with your family. And uh, we'll look for you here next Friday night, Facebook Live against Riverside. We're looking forward to a, a great opening contest for 2020. The defending 3A, 3A state champions. champions. All right. Hey, good night, everybody. God bless.